Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the moon goddess. Yes, it's been a while since I have recorded, but as you can see, I am in a new place. I am in a new space. I am so grateful for it. I am so happy for it and I cannot wait to start flushing out content for you guys on a daily basis. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to tell you guys about my journey to manifesting this apartment. Um, the expectations, the little bit of doubt that started creeping in that I had to kick out of my mind in order to stay focused on the goal and ultimately allowing myself to be able to be in a space where I can remove myself and separate myself from certain things and certain habits in order to step into something different. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into this video. All right, so as I've stated before, I did move. I manifested a beautiful apartment. I'm so grateful for my apartment. My son is grateful for his room. He's grateful for all the possibilities of all his gaming that he wants to get going. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that he has the push for something and that he's motivated now. Being in a new space definitely allows you to feel more motivated and to feel more free. Where I was living before, I kind of couldn't do a lot of things that I wanted to do as far as, you know, make as much noise. <laughs> Not saying like I'm so super loud or anything, but just saying like just constantly being conscious of people because we were all so close. The apartments were so close, the, you know, it just constantly being conscious of people just put me in a bubble of thinking like if i too loud should i do this right now is it too late for me to start recording are people trying to sleep are people gonna hear me through the walls is that gonna sound weird like just being in that mental space all the time just kind of threw me off and threw my energy off so i just want to jump into a little backstory of how i got into this situation that i'm in now because it's basically a one door closed and another one open type of situation Long story short, I was planning on moving out of my hometown here in Connecticut to go to the West Coast because I thought I had an opportunity to do something very big and very different, okay? The opportunity, I feel like I got right to the finish line before that door was closed in my face, which at the end of the day, it happens. It's not going to stop me from pursuing what it is that I know I really want to pursue in life. Um, but that opportunity did come to an end. So the same day that I got the message that the opportunity that I was planning on having basically was taken away or taken back, I reached out to the complex where I'm at now to see if they still had any apartments available. Now, they had reached out to me back in November of 2022. I just moved in my apartment April of 2023, okay? I wasn't planning on moving because I had in my head the idea of me moving out of town and going to go and focus on what I was doing as far as the opportunity that I was seeking. So I hadn't made any moves on anything. The apartment was basically waiting for me. So once I got the rejection or the redirection, as I like to call it, because it's not a rejection, it's a redirection. Once I got the redirection notice that the opportunity was no longer available for me, I reached out to the complex immediately like, hey, is there an apartment still available? Because I was just ready to just move. I wanted to keep my movements up. I wanted to keep my energy high. I wanted to feel like I was still in the space of making something happen, even though I felt like the one main thing that I really wanted for myself didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to. They reached back out to me and they were like, yes, apartment is still available. You know, we want you to come in. And long story short, I came in, signed my lease, and now I'm living in my new beautiful apartment. I do have an apartment tour video that is ready to go, but I don't know if anybody is 100% interested in the apartment tour video. If you are, then comment down below and I will get that uploaded, okay? I could do like a little preview, which I will insert right here. that's just a little tidbit of my apartment if you want a full apartment tour video then just let me know i will have that video uploaded now i wanted to also talk about being in a mental space to release certain things in order to receive certain things okay um do you guys know that meme of the girl who's like holding the little rusty teddy bear 
and her hand and God is like facing her but he has like a big beautiful teddy bear behind his back and the little girl doesn't want to let go of the rusty teddy bear because she's so used to it she's had it forever she's so comfortable with it she doesn't want to remove herself or separate herself from this teddy bear but God is like with this big beautiful teddy bear behind his back he's looking at the little girl like hey trust me just trust me that is pretty much what my life has been for the past two months holding on to an opportunity and not allowing myself to move because of this opportunity or because of what I thought was gonna happen. I feel like taught me a lot in regards to how I am as a person and how I operate as a person when I feel like there's a door in front of me. Just because there's a door in front of me doesn't mean that I can't explore the windows around me or I can't explore the other doors around me as well. And for me personally, I'm so, structured in a way where I'm fixated on one thing and I'm going towards this one thing and this is all I'm thinking about is this one thing and this is all that's going to matter is this one thing and sometimes I allow myself to miss other opportunities or miss other chances because I'm so focused on this one thing when there's other things that can be around trying to grab my attention and get my attention as well that can help to catapult me to where it is that I'm focused on with this one thing you know what I'm saying? I really wanted to move out of my town because I thought, you know, I couldn't do a lot of things in my town. Um, I thought I didn't have a lot of opportunities out here. But it's not the opportunities that are out here, it's the opportunities that you create for yourself. It's what you do with where you're at. It's what you do. Can you make that lemonade out of bitter lemons? You know what I'm saying? Can you flip it and turn your narrative into something that's going to be a whole bunch more beneficial for you? I had to get into a space where I was understanding that it's not about what people are trying to give to me. It's about what I'm trying to do with myself to where I don't have to just be fixated on one opportunity. I can create multiple opportunities. I can put myself in a space where not just one door opens for me, but a million doors open for me. It's possible. People are doing it on a daily basis. So allow yourself the space to breathe and the space to explore, even while you're manifesting, because not everything is going to work out the way that you want it to be 100,000%, because everything has to align with your purpose and your path. Everything has to align with your journey spiritually and physically. You have to be in the space in order to receive certain things, okay? So I don't think that that one opportunity closing for me is the end of the road for my entertainment career. I don't think that at all. There's been plenty of success stories of plenty of successful people in the entertainment industry where they talked about how they received a whole bunch of no's before they finally got a yes. So I'm not allowing myself to give up on the situation. I'm just creating different avenues for myself. I'm putting myself now in front of the camera and being vulnerable and putting myself in a space of understanding that I can create the opportunities that I want to create for myself from where I'm at. I have to make the best out of any situation that I am in. So, you know, just allowing myself the space to be grateful and thankful. I am grateful for the opportunities that I know that I'm about to create with the space that I have now. I'm grateful for the people who I can help or the, the people who are gonna watch this video and who are gonna say, you know what, yeah, that's me. Like, I feel like opportunities were closing in my face. I feel like I was stuck in situations that I was trying to get myself out of, but now I have to understand that I have to try to find the silver lining in every single thing. There's always a silver lining. Just the moment when something is a no, there's a yes right around the corner. So please do not be discouraged if situations are not working the way that you want them to work. Allow yourself to release the idea of if this doesn't happen for me nothing will ever happen for me don't think like that because I had kind of got into a headspace of that I kind of was a little bit disappointed obviously because I was very much so excited for this opportunity that I feel like I was so close to I was like right at the finish line of getting my foot through the door of this opportunity but at the end of the day everything is a journey it's a learning experience because obviously I was still reeling in the mindset of of, okay this didn't work out for me this opportunity didn't work out for me now what if this apartment doesn't work out for me what if things are just not gonna work I had to literally push self-doubt and push those negative thoughts out of my brain and I know it's the hardest thing to do as a human because we're always constantly thinking about the what ifs and why nots and how comes and things like that now I would have those thoughts but then I would have these feelings I even had these dreams like I had dreams of me 
moving into my apartment but mentally i was still feeling like wow like i don't think this is gonna work out for me like what if this doesn't work out for me but knowing how to put that blocker when those negative thoughts come into your brain that is one of the most important things that i had to learn this is not what i'm thinking today i am thinking positive i am grateful to live in my new apartment i'm grateful to have been given the keys and i had to put myself in a gratitude mindset the moment that those doubts started popping up in my brain i had to replace those doubts with gratitude for what it is that i knew was coming because i knew god wouldn't let me down two times in a row like oh you can't let me down two times in a row you can't do that but at the end of the day everything happens the way that it's supposed to happen i hope that this little beginner video of everything that has transpired with me I hope that it helped anybody. I hope that it gave some encouragement to anybody who may be feeling like things are not going their way. Um, use me as an example. It is never a rejection, it is a redirection. It redirects you toward the best things for you, okay? Sometimes a lot of things that we really, really want, at the moment, they're not what we need, okay? Or at the moment, they're not what it is that we're ready for yet. So don't give up on what it is that you want to do, even though you're told no. Just know that the time frame happens the way that it's supposed to happen. And you will get what it is that you want to get. You just got to hold out, keep the faith, keep the, keep the positivity, keep looking for that silver lining, and ultimately keep going with the flow, okay? Keep going with the flow instead of trying to go against it because then you're just pushing, it's just a push and pull situation. And know that your journey doesn't end just because you received one no okay um yeah i appreciate you all so much thank you so much for watching this video like i said i will be uploading more videos i will be uploading more content more reading more spiritual content um more encouraging content and all types of things thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and also be sure to hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you found it something that would be helpful for you in your situation now okay so i'll see y'all in the next video y'all have a wonderful and beautiful day remember gratitude is everything being grateful is everything y'all have a great night